is the idea of modeling vertical motion. Okay, and we've already done this a little bit. We did this with dropped items or dropped objects. <coughs> In a dropped object, we identified as having the function h of t is equal to negative 16t squared plus h of 0. And in looking at these, we identified the h of t, it's a function, so I wrote it as a function. h is the height. It's whatever the height, the instantaneous height is at some time t. Okay, so when you're looking to see how long does it take for an object to hit the ground, the height at that moment that you're finding t for would be what? The, hitting the ground is the height of zero. Okay, t is in seconds. And h of 0 is the height at time 0. So that's called the initial height. And that's going to be in feet. Okay, so time is in seconds, height is in feet. Okay, so we talked about this in uh, dropped objects. Okay, there's another type of vertical motion model that embellishes this. It includes it, but it, it goes one step further, and that's a thrown or projected object. And a thrown object is going to have the following function. H of t, it's still going to equal negative 16 t squared. However, there's going to be an adjustment in it, and that adjustment is going to be the initial force that was acting on the object. Okay, v, v of 0, so it's the velocity at time 0, meaning the initial velocity, times t plus the initial height. Okay, so all of these things are still the same. So this is still initial height in terms of feet. This is still time in terms of t, or in terms of seconds. This is still a function of the height at any given time t. Okay, the only thing that's new here is this VO, and again, that just means initial velocity. Since we're dealing in terms of feet and seconds, the velocity will also be in terms of feet per second. And again, there's three different scenarios. The velocity based on the in which direction the force is acting. If the force is acting in an upward direction, then the initial velocity is going to be greater than zero. It's positive. So if you're standing at the, at the base of a fence and you're trying to throw a, a baseball over the top of a fence, okay, your initial velocity is going to be in the upward direction, so it's going to be positive. Okay, if you were standing at the top of a building and you were uh, throwing a baseball down onto a field or at the to the base of that building. So if the initial force is acting in a downward direction, then that initial velocity is going to be a negative number. Okay, so anytime the force is going down toward the earth, it's a negative initial velocity. Anytime it's going away from the earth or up, it's a positive initial velocity. And what just ha what happens if you just drop an object? So you don't throw it up, you don't throw it down, you just drop it going to have an initial velocity of what? Zero. Okay, so would that be consistent with this dropped object? Yeah, so dropped object equation is just the thrown object with an initial velocity of zero, which winds up uh, completely eliminating that middle term, okay, but it's still consistent with all of this. And so if the force that's acting upon this is horizontal, and then the initial velocity is equal to zero. Okay, so if there's no force, okay, it's just dropped, then you would use this upper model.
Ouais. <rire>